<laughs> I think he likes the water. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Puma. Come on, Puma. Take it, Puma. Good morning, everyone. I thought it would be cool to take you through our morning routine. To be honest, every morning is different, but this will give you an idea of what a typical morning might look like here. We start our day cuddling our fluffy kittens around 6.30 a.m. Hello, good morning. <laughs> he's so soft. He's like, a, he's like a teddy bear. <laughs> he is. Or a teddy cat. A stuffed cat. <laughs> this is normally how they lay in between us. They're still soft like kittens, but they're getting bigger. Yeah, they are. Bye. That guy. <laughs> I think he likes the water. Kai! Kai! Here, Puma. Good boy. Ooh. Good boy. Kai, come here. Yeah, it's slippery. Good job. Kai, come here. Come here, Kai. Come here, Kai. Come on the back. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. Good job. <laughs> After our walk, we make a fire if the fire isn't going, which it's not. So either Jake or I is going to make the fire and then we do breakfast. Oh. Uh -huh. 
right, we have our fire going, and up top we have breakfast cooking, hot water going for coffee, and here is the pumpkin spice latte mixture that I just made. Fan is going. Awesome. Breakfast is ready. Pumpkin spice. Okay, so one more time, what's in it? Um, cloves, cloves, cinnamon, allspice, coconut sugar, almond milk, and coconut milk. Yeah. Is it good? Super good. It's fantastic. It tastes like autumn. What you doing, babe? I am hey. connecting the deck, but I'm also training these guys to love me at the same time. Kai! <whistles> Kai, come here, Kai. Sit. Good boy, Kai. So we're connecting the new deck to this deck. So we don't have to walk on this ghetto pathway. And then take the electric fence and put it above and below the deck. Let's take, let's take this hole. Let's take this hole. Come on. Let's go. I've always wanted to have some digging dogs. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's dig it up. Dig it up, guys. Come on. Come on, dig it. Dig it up. Let's go. Come on, dig. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There you go, Puma. Come on, Puma. Dig it, Puma. Help out. Help out. Come on. Now you get to eat lunch today. Come on. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, bro. Dig it up, Puma. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Level it out. Yeah. Good job, bro. Let's go. Let's go, Puma. <laughs> Thanks, Puma. <laughs> Good job, buddy. That's the funniest thing that I've seen. Okay, we got to put the block on now. Let's go. Can you put the block in place and concrete it for me? <laughs> oh, the hole's not deep enough yet. Level it out. Kai, get the level. <laughs> Come on, get it. They're really going for it. They love this.
Look out. So, while the cement dries, we are moving on to the next project, which is putting, or starting, the roof on both of the patios. So right now we're on the second patio, the one where the kitchen's gonna be. Is that level? No. <laughs> we're doing like a, like a gazebo kind of roof. Once we, we're gonna- if, um, if folks out there subscribe, we're gonna be building a cob oven. Yeah, we're really excited about that. Out sand and straw coming up. A really make nice cob oven. Homemade pizza and cookies and bread. pies and bread. Super exciting stuff. And then next to it is gonna be a large, like I'm talking this big Chinese style, extra large wok. And I'm putting the wok in an raised counter space with a fire down below. So we can actually fire the wok with a real fire next to the cob oven. So this gazebo is gonna be the roof that's going to protect these two things, this cooking area, and then of course an eating area in the middle mm -hmm. from the rain. Yeah. So we're just doing the first boards and then we're gonna move over to the main patio and then do that as well. Yeah, high five. No, it's crazy, you can't really tell what the posts are because of all the trees in the background. You can't really tell if that's a post and that's a post. These guys are from our forest and uh, the posts are Shosugi Bond um, at the bottom. So they're charred in the fire at the bottom so they don't rot and the char protects them from bugs eating them and breaking them down also protects them from uh, it, it just uh, pulls out moisture from a new log, so we uh, charred the bottom, I don't know, like two feet. Yeah. Put if it you guys in the ground. watched our past videos, we show you guys how we do yeah. that. Check it out. Yeah. So now they're here, and then we're going to, once we have this roofing started, then I'll know how to cut them all to perfect height, and then we'll put another um, cross. All this and beams, that, and yeah, there's and a then lot. I'm just debating whether to put a metal roof on it or to build the shingles ourselves. What do you guys think? Wood shingles from our forest or a metal roof? Obviously wood shingles. Wood shingles. Because that would sound cooler when you're a lot more work when me. you're sitting and eating. Imagining you're eating your warm pizza. Would you rather hear a tin roof or like the shingles? Ooh, that's a tough one. Tin roof is pretty nice. What? I would say it'd be a lot quieter. Oh, it's like, much quieter. It would be like a more peaceful hit yeah, versus like when you're sure. in the yurt because yeah, we yeah. know how loud it rains. I'm just thinking if we're doing metal roofing, we got to pick that up somewhere, which means we got to ride back with it in the boat. True, and we make it ourselves, it's already And here. then we gotta carry it from somewhere to here. Yeah. Where wood shingles, we can just do in little yeah. nice piles. and I think hitting, or the rain hitting it would sound a little oh. bit more calmer Natural, maybe. yeah. Yeah, that looks perfect. Oh, like, that looks great. Okay, so Matt, hold that strong. Uh -huh. like a stargate. Come through the portal, Nicole. Oh, I thought it was going to fall. <laughs> what? It's strong. Not even cross brace yet. To all the YouTube girls out there, it's not even cross braced yet. What are you doing? I'm not with him. <laughs> Join us next time on Jake and Nicole Off Grid. The season is almost up for some wild mushrooms, so we head out one last time to see what we can find. Can you take a minute and talk about your fashion here? What is happening with your boots and your pants? All right, so I'm hiding down in the briar patch here. 
think I found something else. Thank you guys so much for watching. 